Welcome back to Ranakuma Duncan Ropa. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently, it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way of knowing for sure. Anyways, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Psyche and f and we could figure out where to go from there. She did say she was my assistant now. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With my newfound determination, I left my room. Just checking if anything is different. Always look for coins. It's never a bad option. Makoto! Uh, good morning! <laughs> yes, good morning! Greetings are quite delightful! Such an energized way to start the day! Now then, let's make sure we both do our best throughout the day! Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, listen. I have a favor to ask. Favor? A favor? Um, I was getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you come with me? Maybe we could talk? Yeah, sure. Where would you be? Where, where are you heading? Uh, um. Uh, I've been thinking that th there might be something around that I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, I mean, whoever's keeping us here would show up and attack any time. You never know. Whoever's trapped us here, whoever presents us the rules for murdering each other, whoever puts us in the same position, she's right. You never know when they might attack. Um, so, I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect myself. Well, now that I think about it, the display case in the gym hallway had a bunch of stuff, maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have a major name torsion. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyways, we should head to the gym. For anyone... For anyone who hates walk, who hates walking into school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It is simple as opening a map menu and choosing where to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways as marked as a waypoint. Plus, you can't teleport to places you have not been, haven't been, or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you would be lost forever. Well, good luck and have fun. Hey, um, we're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, let's get moving. Run. Hmm. Most suspicious. Mr. Nayaki, Mrs. Mazono, what are you doing? What are you two doing off to? A man and a woman growing closer. 
Hey, hey, what are you trying to say? Like the, when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of a story, they fall in love. And there's really no other way to express it, but... I feel as if... How very poetic! Hey, um... Makado, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, don't have a clue. <laughs> Just brush it off. Hey, uh... Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, totally. Hey. Not like I'm trying to find any secrets or anything. Ah. Makoto, that's the girl's bathroom. Uh, uh yo, sorry. Yeah, I got confused. Oh, come on, you have to concentrate. I hope you are well. Well, hello. I hope you two are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging some common greeting is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstance and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm out. Hey, um... Should we get going? Yeah. Do -do -do -do. What even is that? Mm. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. Hey, uh, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Makoto, if you're looking for the door to the gym, this isn't it. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Um. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey there, Makoto. Oh, it's you two of you right now. Are you on a date? W what? Damn, Makoto. I never would have thought, but you're a total player, huh? No, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just his assistant. To be dismissive like that is somehow... What? Huh? His assistant? What is that? Is this some kind of role-playing thing? Sorry. Well, whatever. What you're into is your business. I don't judge. Anyways, if you don't mind, let's get ahead to the gym already. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You have to zip it into school store. Some kind of Japanese Western mix blend. It seems more like a cultured antique store. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the monsters Monokuma appears on. Alright. A vending machine. I guess this is school store then. I really want to smash the camera, but if I break it, Monokuma will break me. So, I'll just have to try and ignore it. What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, the prize will come out. Would you like to try it? Your yeah, hand can see all mighty Monokuma machine. Not now. Maybe next time. Yes. Toko. Toko. <laughs> Toko. Wait, what? Toko, together with those two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. 
Oh no, I was just thinking how you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make it perfectly clear. Me hanging out with, with these two who have muscles where their brains would be not my choice. Just a second. Whoa, that's super mean. Mm. Yesterday you were complaining how no one invited you. That's like the only reason I asked you to, to come with us. Mm -hmm. I never asked for you to do, do that. So stop doing and drive me further to your meat dimension. Mm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we could... You should go after her? Wait. You should have pressure her any further. Well... Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil. Anyways, it's weird if they did get along. Hey, Makoto. Well, uh, look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping to find something today. If you do, be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Hmm. We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um, and that's why you went with Hina and Toko? However, well, Hina's the one who invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, uh, understandable. Doesn't matter how many times you check, things will always change. See? Change. Alright. I mean, seriously? Man, what the hell is this metal hatch thing? It really, it's really on there, like. For damn sure. Anyways, there's nothing to do around here. I'm freaking dying boredom. Uh, uh, I'm being stuck in here is keeping me from racing towards my dream too. Hey, um, your dream? Yeah. Yeah. To be a musician, you can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century, right here. How cool is that? God, I feel so cool trying to gain that say in front of a national celebrity. Dreams. Did you say something? <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Mondo, what are you doing? What? Trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it a another shot. Oh, this There's sucks. gotta be a way to bust down of this thing. Hell yeah. And I'm st stuck at I suck at thinking stuff up. So I guess I'll let you guys figure it out. Hey, damn it. Once it's time to act, though, you just let me know. I'll show you what a real man could do. Wow, sounds like you really... C we could really count on you. Um, I'm a cut. Oh, okay. Um, Something you need, Jim? Uh, no, no, not really. Yay! Hey, um. Hey, here you go. I might be able to find something here and protect myself with. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll find something in this case so I can use. There's some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you put in a high school gym. Yeah. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? 
a plaque. I guess it's coming. It's coming every some kind of championship. It's a helmet of some sort. Why is that some? What kind of thing on display? Yay! <gasps> There's more. There's all kind of stuff on the shelf above. All right, an obvious. This is a sword. No, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive to have a completely gold cover, completely covered in gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it, and I got gold stuff all over my hands. Well, you're right, your hands are totally gold. Even if it's just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... Okay, sh sh should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. Y you think so? <laughs> but I guess you should be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't think I see anything I really use for self-defense hey don't, don't worry it's not like you need it right away right plus if anything were to happen when the time comes I'll protect you huh? y you'll protect me <laughs> thank you for saying that if you if you've got you on my side I guess I don't have what I don't need a weapon after all psycho giggling as she said that the mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from her heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I only f honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for the weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Ba -da -da -da. Um. All right. I know I said I want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or something. Hmm. Stare off into space? Oh, but... You're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Uh, hey, uh, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well... What about you, Saika? What is your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star as long as I remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. When I was a kid, you know. So, I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty like a princess and she could sing and dance. <laughs> And more than anything else, she was there, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melt away. I decided that I wanted to be some, I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give it that kind of encouragement as well. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. It's so amazing, though. You were able to totally actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I, I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I meant. I meant it. Even some things I that wasn't so pleasant. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you keep changing your dream, someday it has to come true. But you do that, you can't take your eyes off your dreams. Not even for a second. Even if something is if it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on no matter what. Um. In other words, you if you lose your focus for a split second, you get left behind. So, you have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is that really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun! But... But... 
that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, uh, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I want to do. Every day, everyone in our group is amazing. We revels in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were so young, and we're all like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up my dream long ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? When the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Saika? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified losing it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to go to Hoop's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Um... Well, th they say that if you graduate here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means, if I keep on performing with my best friends forever, I, I could... At least that's what I thought. I really do believe that, but now that we're trapped here, there's no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm here, the world is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, they're all disappearing. But still, Saika, I can't afford to be stuck here. That was the first time I heard her cry out for deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I have to understand the way she, she feels that way. Trapped here in a way the dream she puts up so much effort in the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed in a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Um, I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to Dunning Hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I could actually... Pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst it out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by a bright smile I quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Anyways, we head to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. The only thing in the room is a fake sword covered in gold. All that it does is make me feel more uncomfortable. Anyways, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't like to sit here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have the first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you could spend time with your fellow craftsmen to deepen your friendships. You could give them presents, which can potentially give them an even deeper, an even better impression of you. You can get these presents at the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events. A new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will provide useful in parts in every play as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, Keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time has passed, your free time will come to an end and your story will progress. If you're not engaged in free time, you can always choose to simply sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward in a story then, absolutely why not you try it out spending some time with Miss Saika Maizono. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Free time. The only thing in the room is fake sword covered in gold. Makes you feel much more, uh... As always... Ignore that. 
Oh no, uh, no, no, no. That is absolutely not what I wanted. Gonna visit Psycho just yet. We're gonna roam around, roaming around at the speed of sound. Can't get inside, the gate's in the way. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge, it must be locked. Yay! There we go. Ooh. I never noticed this button before. It looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. In we go. There's only one thing here. It's a fish tag with a bunch of little fishes swinging around. like this. Very bizarre. Okay. Nope, not something I can click. Watching machine, not surprising. This is a large room after all. Gotta stockpile them uh, monocum coins. Vending machine, it's always nice to have a drink while the laundry gets done. There's a swimsuit hanging out to dry. I wonder whose are those. I thought it was hers. What should I do? I'm kind of scared. Are we really trapped here? Oh, you're hiding. Mm -hmm. uh, hoi hoi! Remember me, the one and only Kafumi Yamada. That's it. What are you doing here? Aww. 
getting stuck here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. I just realized I was going to end the episode sooner. And then I didn't. <laughs> Alright. I'll just make an abrupt ending. Here. And then come back. Hopefully you all remember what's going on. Because I won't. Alright. I'll be back. Later in the next episode. Let's see what's going on. Which site. Uh, or whatever name was. Bye bye.